we believe that going structural is a way in which we will be able to rescue uh, the growth, uh, rescue or improve the unemployment, the inequality uh, figures, and also uh, get back on, at least on the way to rescuing the trust. PPP, as I said earlier, is a form of procurement and should only be used where a value for money cost-benefit case can be articulated as opposed to any other form of procurement. I think uh, PPP should be looked at as a tool in the toolbox. We have estimated that about three trillion to four trillion dollars is the funding gap in the developing world. Five countries concentrate 50 percent of the flows that go through through PPPs. Uh, when you look at the numbers, uh, it's not as bad as you might think. From 2009 up to 2011, we had about 120 projects. Now, one of the advantages is that so presumably the private sector is more efficient at design and management than the public sector. We have uh, converted uh, the system from budget financing to user financing. Transport is a cornerstone in the general policy for better welfare, creating jobs, for regional development and for meeting the environmental challenges of the future. And now we need to share and to compare experiences, to build on what we have learned and to let ourselves be inspired by what is done elsewhere. You would expect the government to be putting money in at the moment and you would expect them to be putting money into infrastructure because on the whole that is the best way to create growth and jobs. In my experience I have more problems, more problems in regard to public acceptance than I have with funding it. And indeed often the best returns come from smaller projects which unblock a larger network.